This is about saving lives. That's how PPA described the results of their first nine months of their speed camera program on Roosevelt Boulevard. 32 cameras in eight separate locations. Their data shows speed violations went down from 224,000 in June of 2020 to 16,000 this February. A 92% reduction cannot be underestimated, and those families that have suffered are going to certainly be appreciative. The highest speed recorded, 125 miles per hour. PPA says they've collected $13 million in fines. Half of that will stay in Philly. Take it on and let the city get paid. That's what they get for speeding. Although numbers are encouraging, some who live near the area say they don't see much of a difference. People still are speeding down the boulevard. Keith knows this firsthand. And about two months ago, I got hit on the boulevard. Yeah, right there. Right there. He tells NBC10 it all happened at night as he was trying to cross the boulevard. And it hit me and dragged me. I was in the hospital for three days. For him, the cameras are not the solution. He says drivers just need to be more careful. Every time you turn around, somebody getting hit on the boulevard or some crashes on the boulevard. So these cameras focus on registering speed violations. BPA says regarding the number of crashes or accidents, they don't have that data yet, but they think it's going to be a positive outcome. They also claim we should not be surprised if we see more cameras like this one in other roads here in Philly and in the rest of the state. Isabel Sanchez, NBC 10 News. Count on it.